Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're currently heading up to the reservoir. I don't know, I can't remember what its full name was. But, we're going to start having a look at Divine Beast Varuta. Since we now have enough shock arrows to actually do it. How many shock arrows do we actually get in the end? Since I got more than enough. 25, that's pretty good. We just need to not miss, basically. Because otherwise we're going to be in a lot of trouble. There's a nice spot up here, though. A little bed, and... We can actually sleep here for free, apparently. So, but we don't need to do that, so I'm going to just leave that as it is. There's Varuta, and there's Prince Sidon. Glad to see you're ready to go, Link. Are you ready for this? Do you have your Zora armor and enough shock arrows? I'm ready. Wonderful. You never cease to amaze, Link. Now then, let us go and appease that divine beast as one. Here we go. Gaze now upon the divine beast's back. Do you see those glowing pink orbs? You will need to shoot each of them with a shock arrow. With your Zora armor, you now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. So I shall take you right up to the side of the divine beast, and from there you can swim up and take aim. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now hurry and get up on my back. We can say, are you serious to probably quit out? I don't know. But I am ready, so let's go. Good answer. Let's get going. Okay, here we go. Ha! I am unstoppable in the water. Ruta is responding to our presence. I'll move away and wait for an opening before we approach. I'll keep going at full speed. It's up to you to ward off Ruta's attacks. Are you ready? Divine Beast Faruta will undoubtedly use an, its ancient and mysterious power. That includes hurling giant ice blocks that we'll, we'll need to watch out for. I shall leave the rest to you. Okay. So. We have giant ice blocks heading towards us. We need to use Cryonis to smash them, since they are made the same way. We need to make sure we have our shock arrows ready to go. And a boat to actually shoot them. And now, let's swim upward. And once we're in the air, let's get out our bow and shoot that. And I think if we can, we can also shoot the other one as well. Which makes our uh, everything so much easier. But we've also done a lot to it, so it's actually going to start changing its attack. So now, instead of oh everything being blocks going towards us, we have spike balls that are going to ruin our day. I wonder if I can just... No. Please break it, thank you. Last one. Okay. Let's see if we can do this other half of one go as well, and then we'll be all done in twice the speed that you should be able to do it in. Okay. Let's go. Okay, good. And the other one. Make sure we make it count. I missed. Hold on. Okay. We missed our opportunity, but unfortunately. But now, we better make sure we don't die. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Block, 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 block. Block. Uh, death spike ball. Oh, block, 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 block. Oh my gosh, the blocks are annoying. So are the spiky balls, but anyway. We seem to be able to manage this somewhat well. Come on, and then the last one's a block, so let's get rid of that. Please, ow. A, oh, it respawns, really? Break that, okay. Is this the right side? I don't think it is. So, how then? Oh, do I really need to just pick one? Okay then. 
I can probably glide to the other side a little bit from here, but it's going to push me away as much as possible, so... Let's just go over and then shoot the last one. Wow, that was astounding. What a thrill. Link, look. The water spouting from Ruta has slowed down. Ruta is floating higher now. You want to venture inside it, right? I'll bring you closer. We're counting on you, hero. Do good work in there. Well, Link, here we are. Looks like this is where the real work starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zor's domain. Farewell. Travel gate registered to map. You're here. I must say that I am so happy to see that this day has finally arrived. Now, Ruta can be freed of Ganon's control. You'll need a map to prevent you from getting lost. The Guidance Stone there contains the information that you will need. Well, we're here. On Varuta. We can leave if we want to, and we can teleport back if we need to. But I think... Let's get started. Oh, remove my shock arrows. This wall of malice here that we can't get through because it will hurt us if we touch it like that. Although we can just walk around it, I think. But we can shoot this eye of malice. And by doing that, it gets rid of the malice around it. So there we go. Now... Let's get this chest out of the water. We don't need to get all the chests in here. I don't think that even marks it if you get all of them. But uh, we don't have much opportunity to actually get all the chests in here, so I'm going to try and get as many as I can. Let's get rid of that eye under the water. There we go. And now we can open this up using Crayonis. And let's use this Guidance Stone. Sheikah Slate, Slate Authenticated, Distilling Map of Divine Beast. Divine Beast Controls have been enabled. obtain the map of the Divine Beast. You will see several glowing points on your map which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take Ruta back by activating all of the terminals. Be careful. 
you can mul manipulate certain aspects of the Divine Beast from the map screen. That we can. So, let's just go out here for starters. And figure out what we should do first. Well, first, let's take out of this... Take out this evil-looking... Guardian Scout thing. It's red and not yellow. So, that's how you know. <laughs> if it's red, it's gonna be dead. But yeah, if we look at our map, we can see glowing circle spots where we need to be to activa activate guidance things so we can actually take back control. One of which is right in front of us, but it's under the water, so we're gonna actually need to get it out. So, to do this, let's grab this with magnesis and spin it around a whole bunch. Just like that. And looks like it's good now. There we go. So. Let's go ahead and activate this. There are four terminals remaining. Don't give up. And now that's done, we have four more left to do. And that's basically how this is going to work. Man, it is very ominous inside of here. With all the particles and the music and just... Everything. Deep piano plays. Okay. Let's head up this way. The first time I was in a Divine Beast, I did not know how to manipulate it with the map, so I'm gonna have to... Explain how that works, because otherwise... You might be in the same boat that I was. Although it's doubtful that anyone's gonna be in that... The same way. Okay. You're just gonna... Get dead. You're just gonna get dead. Ow. Oh, his blade. It didn't cut deep enough. But his materials are gone. Um... Okay. We have this... Wheel here, which has another one of the things in it. So to stop it, I think we need to... Put ice there. To stop it from turning. That also lowers the water in here. So let's activate that. There are three terminals remaining. You can do it. And we get reminded how many are left every single time we activate one. Which is kind of useful if you like leave and don't know how many are left. But it's really not that necessary. But anyway. Let's have a look out here, because there's probably something out here at the very least. One thing, maybe? Well, we can go up this way. Oh, there's a thing there. That thing will keep spewing these monster heads out. Cursed by Coblin. Ow! Oh my goodness, please, let me focus on it. Nope. Ow! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna just back up. Back up, back, back up. I'm gonna eat some food as well, so I don't accidentally die without noticing. Because that'd be bad. Is there anything that's just two? I don't think there is. Oh, there is. Roasted chestnut stuff. Okay, I'm gonna just take you out. That works. Now, if it spawns more, then I can take pictures of that. Also, I think the Eye of Malice can't be taken picture of? Okay. Okay, let's get Cursed by Coblin. And it actually had two different types of skulls or cursed things that came out. But I'm not sure if it's going to be kind to me and just give me more of the other type. Oh, there we go. We have Cursed Moblin. Well, I think... Yeah, this one's different. Okay... These ones are strong. Come on. Okay. They are very strong, oh my goodness. Come on, give me the... Are these really the only ones it's gonna give me now? This is also breaking my weapon, by the way. Yeah. Great. Is this... I'm pretty sure there's three. Yeah, there it is. The last one. A curse of Zalfos. So 
for skull from each of those. But anyway, let's destroy that ice. That gets rid of that. And I don't know if it kills the floating heads as well. No, it does not. So let's take care of you. And I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but if you take a picture of something you've already taken a picture of, you can act, I believe you can replace the thing inside of it. So now we have a guidance stone in here, but we need to activate it. The way to do that is to get this orb into the hole there. So, to do that, we're going to actually have to look at our map now. We have these little pins on our map here. And if we select it, it's showing an, the arrows to where the trunk's going to go up to. And the trunk raises. And as it raises, I'm going to do it a little bit more. As it raises, it also starts... maybe? Come on, a little bit more. It starts spurting water out. Which we can use to move everything in here, which is kind of... difficult, but useful. So as these things are all spinning, around in a circle and all that, the orb will go into its place but as soon as it turns around again so we can walk in to get the thing it, it will just fall out again so we need to stasis this in such a way that allows us to get in here while it's upside down like that and we can activate it There we go. And now that it's activated, I don't think it will undo. But at the roof is actually spikes in there, so... You can't be in there when it's upside down. Now I want to get this chest as well, which is basically the same idea, but we need to actually just wait for it to happen so I can actually stasis the top lock so I can actually open it. It's a bit of waiting involved, but it's mostly alright, so... Okay, let's just be ready for it, and I think I can freeze it about now. Okay, please, 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 please. Oh my goodness, it's not gonna be enough time. Just open the chest, open the chest, open the chest, oh my goodness. Ancient core. This crystal was made using lost technology. I think I've read this before. At one time it was the power source for ancient machines. This item is very valuable to researchers. And run! Okay, well there we go. We've got that now. Now that that's all done, let's head back this way. We could have put the thing all the way, but then it would actually be turning the, the gear the other way, and I want it to be going this way. So, let's just go over here in the water. And... If I can, if I can, please. Let's have this lift us up. And we can actually, ooh, get onto this one. Which I think has a chest on it somewhere, so I might want to try and get that. But I don't know where it is. I'm not sure how to do it. But I think I can get it once I'm actually done up here anyway. So for now, let's just jump off here. Ow. And have a look at this guardian. Okay, that's the wrong button, thank you. Ow. Just gonna get that, there we go. I'm gonna take the Guardian Spear with me. I should probably have taken a picture of it, that's fine. Now, where is this chest? I'm sure there's a chest on it somewhere. I'm like, so sure. I can change direction if I need to. Oh, there. It's right there. Here, let me put it there. Come on. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab that. I think we can also get up to here from the bottom floor now. Fire arrow times ten? Wow! Wow! That's a lot. Anyway, I don't know if there's any more chests than that, but I'm going to assume not for now. If we press the switch, however... 
We also activate this stream of water, which we can use from the bottom using our Zora armor to actually swim back up to the top from. So that's also useful. And now, over here, this is actually the trunk, so let's move it down so we can actually see what we're looking at. As you can see, it's absolutely huge. And we can see a chest over there. And that's also where one of the terminals is. Did I miss a terminal or is it... No, I'll, I'll get that. But for now, I think I want to float down like this. Over all the way to the thing. And then, while I'm on here, let's move it up a bit not fall off as best as I can. And over here is the last, or one of the last terminals. So let's be very careful not to fall off accidentally because if you fall off you will actually respawn inside, which is good, but you don't really want to have to respawn. Let's grab this. There we go. Just one terminal remaining. I have faith in you. Okay, let me... Oh, I should have got that chest down below first. That's fine. I might come back for it if I remember. But anyway, we can go down here. Onto the very top of the thing. I think if I shoot that eye... Better than that. Did I get it? No, I did not. Okay. If I can shoot this eye... There we go. And get through with this malice over here and we can actually open up this chest. Ice arrows times ten. Okay, well, let's head down here to this chest down here. We can see up there is where we need to get our last terminal. So let's open this chest up. Knight's Hubbard. My inventory's full. Oh no. I have to throw something out. You know, I don't really use the, um, the rods ever, basically. Very different from other things. Let's grab this. Let's actually also just switch our weapon to something better so we can use that whenever we actually fight something. I guess this is going to break, but I am just going to leave it as it is. Anyway, let me put that all the way down again so we can get the chest that I saw. You can see it there. Oh my goodness, the water. Oh please, oh please, oh my goodness, that almost didn't work. Okay. Let's get that eye. And let's land down here, please. Thank you. And let's open this chest. Ancient shaft. A machine part used, I'm pretty sure we've seen it before. Very, very sure. Okay, let's send this all the way back up now since that should make climbing back a little bit easier. Oh my goodness, just jumping. It's like moon jumps. Okay, we're here now. Get in, get in, get in. It's fine. It doesn't actually close, crush you or anything, so. But anyway. There's only one more terminal left to get, but I think I'll finish off next time. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.